It's a pleasure to be here. I'm very pleased to be nominated as a woman groundbreaker, and I'm proud as an architect here in Chattanooga. I'm the managing partner of Hefferling Cronenberg Architects. We're a local firm which opened in 1999, and we're pleased to be doing a lot of uh, civic and residential work in the area. And I'm here to hopefully uh, encourage more women to take up the profession of architecture. It's a wonderful profession that I enjoy a lot, and uh, I would like to tell you a little bit about my story. Uh, I became interested in the field when originally as a young girl, I, I considered being a veterinarian, but um, along with my love of animals, I started building all these cages and barns, and I really enjoyed the process of making things and taking a dream from a sketch to a reality. And then um, when I was 11, I went to visit uh, my father's family in Switzerland, and I had a great uncle who was an architect and I visited his studio and I was just fascinated with all these little models and his drawings and renderings and to see the interesting things he was doing with space which were actually very avant-garde for the time. So I got interested in that and looked more into it with my career folks in, in um, high school and they encouraged me to take math and science and physics and I was helped with that by my father who was a physicist and he also encouraged me to do anything I wanted. Nobody ever put limitations on me as a young person. Nobody said, well, you should really be a home ec major or the sciences aren't for you. So um, I pursued architecture and, and um, along the way I also did many things and I would encourage other young women to learn as much as you can about your profession. I worked at one point for McKee Foods in their engineering department while I was going to college summers and that gave me a lot of confidence about construction process and estimating. So, uh, and then when I went to the University of Colorado, I also worked for a solar engineering company and built solar panels. I worked for a developer, I worked for a graphic artist, all these different things. So as you pursue your career, learn as much as you can and also learn about business um, because as a woman in a STEM field you face challenges and some of those challenges are you're entering a male dominated field. So one way to combat that is to be very knowledgeable and also learn about business because uh, one of the challenges that I had was there's a glass ceiling in architecture. Even though almost half of the people in the architecture schools are women, only about 19% practice and end up getting their license. So uh, I found that most of the men running the firm, most of the people were, were, that were partners in running the firms were men and um, the women were paid less. So my solution to that was to start my own business and then you set your salary. So <laughs> I would encourage people to, in addition to your STEM um, education, learn as much as you can about business as you go along. So um, other challenges are it's a very rigorous education. I think some people mentioned to me before about the challenges of the architecture education and that weeds a lot of people out. It's kind of a grueling process with many hours and late nights and competition and all that, but it does teach you to work together and to collaborate, which is a good thing. Um, I also thought, was asked about, or people often ask me, how do you see uh, architecture evolving in the future? And it's an exciting time for architecture because of many advances in materials and in science that buildings are changing. And I believe as they proceed in the future, buildings will become almost machines that are self-sustaining, where they shade themselves, they create their own energy, more like a tree. It provides shelter, but it also sustains itself. And we're seeing that a lot with solar panels and geothermal and advances in materials, glasses that, that change so that the light can't be transmitted through them at you know, the flip of a switch by electrifying them and different things. So I'm excited about the profession and uh, encourage other women to get involved and, and we should push them in the school system and help them to achieve and also we hire women in our firm so if there's 
our girls out there that are interested, I'm happy to talk to them about what the profession involves, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Thank you all, and I'll be happy to answer questions if there are any.